I am honored to present you with a short and basic course on how to measure indoor radon concentrations using one method, the electret ion chamber method. This method is rugged, so it's ideally suited for tribal environmental programs. It allows the agency who's deploying the method to analyze the electrets themselves, so that's ideal for a lot of rural locations, especially Alaska, where it's difficult to ship back, for example, charcoal-based devices within the time period that the lab needs to analyze them. So the electret ion chamber offers agencies a self-contained method so that you can deploy the electret ion chambers and measure the electrets that are in the bottom of the electret ion chambers yourself. You measure them before and after a measurement. And because you are functioning as your own laboratory, then you're able to repeat measurements if you find high concentrations or if for some reason a measurement did not produce a valid result. So the way these devices work is the devices that are deployed in indoor environments are electret ion chambers. And this is a ion chamber. It's just a dome of electrically conductive plastic with this screw top plunger. And when you unscrew it, it pulls this plunger up and then it opens up an air cavity inside this where the electret, which is screwed in at the bottom, is exposed to any ions in the air that are caused by when you open this up, then air passively diffuses into this little chamber. And if there is radon in concentrations high enough to cause ions in the air to be formed, the ions are attracted to the electret which just has a surface voltage on it and what's cool is it's really easy to measure you measure the surface voltage before you put it into the chamber and then you leave this plunger down and then you carry it to the home or the environment where you want to make the measurement and then you unscrew the plunger and it's left in place for between four and seven days then when it's time to retrieve the measurement you close the plunger, take it back to your office, and you measure the surface voltage. And the surface voltage is pretty cool. It's just a very simple device that opens up an iris here that measures the surface voltage of the electret when you unscrew it and put it in here. So this reader has to be calibrated once a year. and the reader itself just measures surface voltage. It comes with a zero electret and a reference electret that's always supposed to measure some specified voltage depending upon the electret. So all you do is you measure the surface voltage before and after deployment and then it's just a spreadsheet that relates the surface voltage lost because the ions will be attracted to the surface and discharge the surface voltage. So the surface voltage is always going down a little bit. And if it goes down a lot, that means that there were a lot of ions in the chamber to discharge the surface voltage and reduce it. And then it's just a linear function that's just some cells in a spreadsheet to calculate using the amount of hours that it was exposed in the environment that is being tested with the surface voltage lost and that produces a radon concentration. So it's really, really easy to use. There are some interferences that we'll go over, mostly relating to dropping it or getting it dirty. And a lot of issues relating to, in my personal experience, dog hair. So if you live in an environment that is full of dog hair, you have to be really careful because as you can imagine, a little bit of dust will mess up the measurement.